Hi everyone, welcome to In His Love. My name is Pedita and how are you doing? All right, <laughs> good. How has your day been going? How has your weekend been going? Uh, how is work? How is school? How is the family? I hope everything is fine with you. Um, thanks for stopping by. Thank you, my returning viewers. Thank you. If this is your first time, you're welcome. I appreciate you. Uh, let's dive right in. Me being in the diaspora, right? You know, and, and we are here, you know, we help people back home. Maybe our families, maybe friends, maybe just random people, you know. And some are, some are grateful and some, some are not. <laughs> some will even look at you and be like, is it a small thing that... Is it a small thing that you sent to me? You know, they, 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 some of them are not grateful. Some of them are not uh, thankful to you, you know, and then some think it is, you know, that you, you, you should continue to, that, that money should continue to flow every time, you know, and you, you sent that so that, you know, thinking they can use it to do something to help themselves. Over the years of me being here, I've seen, I've seen uh, disabled people, right? Not all the time, you know, but, but I've seen, I've seen a few and they, and they make something out of their life. They don't allow that disability, uh, be the end of their life. They make something out of their life. The one, they go to school if they want to, you know, they learn a trade, they learn something, skills, you know, and they continue. But Africans, <laughs> Africans on the other hand, not all now, not all, but some, when there's a, a tiny bit of dis disability in, in their life, you know, when, when, I, when I, I mean like physical disability, you know, they see it as like it's the end of life. They see it as an opportunity to be dependent on somebody else. They see it as, oh, this condition, you hear them say something like, if not for my condition that I am, you know, that's why I'm begging. What? And then when we go into the religion aspect of it, this, they, they are running here and there to this church, to that church, looking for miracles to change that physical disability. Miracles happen when God wants it to, hap to happen. You cannot force it. You shouldn't search for it. It will happen. Because if you believe, it will happen when God okays it to happen according to his will. But meanwhile, while you're waiting for that miracle, what are you doing even with that disability? Are you, are you living your life or your, or your life is just at a uh, standstill? Are you still trying to, to live a life to... to uh, to work your your uh, your daily activities, to go about your business, or your life is at a standstill. I'm gonna play a video uh, for you guys to to watch, and you see you see a guy. He he he, he was amputated. Um, both 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 legs are gone, and he is a mechanic. And you wonder how does he do his work mechanic? How does he do his work? But when you watch this video, you'll be you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. This guy does everything. He tries his best. He does everything. He did not sit back. He's fast. Without legs, he's fast. And many, many, many of us, many people have they have legs. Some have one. Some have two. But yeah, they cannot. They can't do nothing. They can't walk. They don't want to walk. They complain about the work. Oh, this the job is too far. Oh, um, you know, they don't pay well, but they are paying something. Oh, they don't pay well. Or, you know, it's one complaint or the other, one excuse, one reason or the other for them not to work and just look for who to depend on. Watch this video and we'll come back and talk. It helps not to have legs. 
All right, you guys, on the off chance that I wake up tomorrow and I have 100,000 followers, uh, I decided to do this one. A little bit longer video, but uh, I think it's worth it. A lot of you guys said a legless guy couldn't climb a tree, climb a ladder, climb stuff. I don't know, so I'll do a few more of those, but heck, here's me climbing a ladder. This is this is work. Had to go find a, a used tire up top. This is where we store them. Can't always ask everybody else to go do... Oh, oh, suck it in, suck it in. Okay, I got it. <laughs> now, uh, luckily, I didn't have to uh, actually climb up on the stacks to get this tire. Uh, I could actually reach it. <laughs> Sometimes I got to climb up on top. So, uh, but for all you uninitiated, there's a technique that comes into play here. This is the uh, throwing a tire down from a high spot and making sure it doesn't bounce all over the place. So any of you uh, looking to go into the tire business, here is the technique. It is a slight backward spin. Oh, I still fell over. <laughs> it was pretty close though. Did you see the video? Amazing, right? So what is your excuse? What is your excuse? Africans, what is your excuse? What disability has kept you bound? That you are not living your life, that you think you can't do anything out of your life. What is your excuse? What is your excuse? No excuse. No excuse. Get out there, do what you can, look for something that you can do, think of something that you can do, learn a skill that you can do. From where you are, people will come to you if you do that skill very well. They will come to you, they will look for you, they will come to you. So I just want to encourage someone out there, um, this is not a blame blame video or it's not any, it's not anything like that it's just to encourage someone out there with a physical disability you can still be somebody in life you can still be you can still live your potential in spite of that disability think of what you can do go for it acquire one skill or two go for it don't let nothing hold you back. Don't let no one uh, talk you down, make you feel helpless. Go for it. Who knows along the way you just might get your miracle. But live your life even while you're waiting for that miracle. You're believing God for a miracle. Live your life first. Disabilities in, in, the, in the mind, you know, it's a state of mind. Yeah, physically, you know, the person might be disabled physically, we can see, you know, one hand, no hand. But you can still do something. There are people with no, no arms, nothing. And they, they cook with their legs. Go on YouTube, you'll see so many videos, you'll be like, what? Wow. They, this, they cook with their leg. The, the leg is hands, is hands is everything. They eat with their legs, they feed themselves, they cook a whole meal with legs, just legs alone. 
So you can speak. If you can't, if, if your disability is not being able to speak, maybe you can draw. There's something that God has put inside of you despite your disability. Look for it. Search for it. Find it and use it. Run with it. Thank you all for listening. Until next time, God bless you. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, have a blessed day and until next video. Bye.